Today I've got a nice problem from the 1992 Putnam. This is problem A2. And it's got a cool little number theory twist to it, which I think is nice because Putnam problems don't often have number theory on them. That's usually reserved for high school level problems, although from time to time they do show up on the Putnam. So our goal is to find all natural numbers A, B, M, and N such that the GCD of M and N is 1, so they're relatively prime. And then we also have A squared plus B squared all to the M power is the same thing as A times B all to the N power. Okay, so the first thing that I'd like to notice is that we can get some sort of, let's see, ordering on M and N with the following observation. So let's notice that a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is the same thing as a minus b quantity squared, just from multiplying out a binomial. But a minus b quantity squared is at least 0. In other words, it's bigger than or equal to 0 because we are squaring an integer. But then that tells us that a squared plus b squared is bigger than or equal to 2ab, which is strictly bigger than ab. And this is what we'll take. a squared plus b squared is strictly bigger than ab. But since those are the things building up the bases on the left and right hand side of the equation here, that tells us that m is strictly less than n. In other words, n minus m is strictly bigger than 0. So these inequalities will be important in a later step of the problem. Okay, so another maybe good classic start to number theory type problems is to rewrite the bases as a product of relatively prime numbers with the GCD. So let's do that. So let's maybe set capital D, or sorry, lowercase d equal to the GCD of A and B, but that means we have A is equal to DX and B is equal to DY, where the GCD of X and Y is one. So that's like from the definition or some defining properties of the GCD. Okay, so now we're gonna plug this new setup of A and B into our original equation. So that's going to give us something like this. We'll have d to the 2m and then x squared plus y squared to the m power. That's because a squared will be d squared times x squared. b squared also has a d squared term. We can factor that out. And then we also have on the right hand side a d to the 2n times xy to the n, kind of for the same reason. We'll have a d times d for this a times b. <clears throat> okay, great. So next up, we want to suppose that p is some prime that divides x. Well, if p divides x, then that means that p divides the entire right hand side of this equation because x divides that right hand side of the equation, but that tells us that p divides the left hand side of the equation because it's an equation. But next up, that means that p divides d or p divides x squared plus y squared. Okay, but let's notice that if p divides d, then that means that p divides y by the definition of the GCD, and then by some linear properties of divisibility over here, we see that this also implies that p divides y. So either way you look at it, you see that p divides y. But let's see, we started with p was a prime dividing x, and we ended up both ways showing that p was a prime dividing y, but let's recall that x and y are relatively prime. So that means that we have a contradiction because we've contradicted the fact that they are relatively prime. But what does that mean? That means that there does not exist a prime that divides x or a prime that divides y, just thinking about this symmetrically. So what's a natural number that has no prime divisors? Well, it's just one. So that tells us that x equals y equals one. Okay, 
So let's maybe bring that up here. So note that we've just shown that x equals y equals 1, which tells us that a equals b equals d. Let's put a bit of a box around that. We'll clean up the board and we'll look at the next part. So we've just shown that a and b are the same number, but if they're the same number, they're equal to their GCD. So that's where we ended up on the last board. Now let's plug d in for a and b into our original equation. So that's gonna give us 2d squared to the m. So we'll have 2d squared to the m, like I just said, equals, so that'll be d squared to the n or d to the 2n. Okay, so moving some things around, that gives us 2 to the m, d to the 2m equals d to the 2n. Okay, but then let's also recall that n minus m was bigger than 0, so we can rewrite this as 2 to the m equals d to the 2 n minus m, because that is d to some natural number by our observation that we started with. But let's see, we've got a power of 2 on the left hand side. That means that d must be equal to some power of 2 as well. So d is equal to 2 to the k for some number k. Okay, so we've got some value for a and b or d in this case just by our you know notation. So let's write that here. So write away we have shown that a and b are both equal to the same power of 2. Okay, so now let's move on from there and by move on from there I mean we'll just plug this right back into our original equation and see what we end up with. Okay, so plugging 2 to the k here will give us something like 2 to the 2k plus 1 all raised to the m power equals 2 to the 2k all raised to the n power. So in other words, 2 to the 2nk. Okay, great. But now we can use exponent rules and then really just take the log base 2 and we'll end up with the following equation. We have 2k plus 1 times m equals 2k times n. But now we're going to use our final fact that hasn't been used yet. We'll use the fact that the GCD of m and n is 1. And that allows us to really see parts of this equation are equal to each other. In fact, this means that m is equal to 2k. And this means that 2k plus 1 is equal to n. So let's like maybe summarize that up here because that'll finish it all off. So we have m, like I said, is equal to 2k, and then we have n is equal to 2k plus 1. So what we in fact have here is an infinite family of solutions indexed by k. So the a and the b are the same power of 2, whereas m is this even number, twice k, and n is this odd number, twice k plus 1. So I've done several videos on the channel where we cover the Putnam problems. So maybe check the one out that's on the screen right now if you're psyched. And that's a good place to stop.